Hey guys, it's Griffin here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a 3D TMP XD like you see on my screen right here. So, what we're going to be using for this is Photoshop and Cinema 4D. If you don't have Cinema 4D, then just look up on YouTube like Cinema 4D for free or Cinema 4D Crack or something, and you'll probably be able to get it. So, yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to open whatever logo you want to use to make 3D. I'm just going to open my personal logo and I'm gonna make this 3D and then um, now what we're gonna do is go over to your layer section then hold control and then press and then click the little box on the logo layer and then once it's highlighted we're gonna go over to layers then go over to paths then click this then make work path then okay 2.0 uh, tolerance pixels and then don't click anything. Go to File, Export, then Path to Illustrator, and we're going to turn it into an AI file for Cinema 4D. So I'll just make it Griffin's Logo AI. Okay, now we're done with the Photoshop part, or we're, no, we're going to go back to Photoshop after Cinema 4D. So open Cinema 4D, then open your Lightroom. If you want to use the Lightroom I use, then I'll have a download link in the description. Robbie's Lightroom. Okay, now once you have your Lightroom open, go to File, Merge, and then you're gonna put your you're gonna put whatever you made from uh, Photoshop into Cinema 4D. Then just make it smaller. Okay. Um. Okay. So, wait, it's kind of hard to see, but. Okay, um, what you're going to do is we're going to turn the AI file into, you're, we're going to make it look 3D. So, what we're going to do is go, uh, go over to this green object and hold it down, then go over to Extrude Nerves. And then you're going to uh, select your logo, your AI file, then drag it into Extrude Nerves. And then as you can see, it's 3D. And also, if your AI file has multiple paths, then just make as many extrude nerves as you need to and then drag the paths into them. But okay, now we have our 3D um, logo. Then I'm just gonna turn up the depths a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that's good. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it at a little bit of an angle, so just use the rotating and moving tools to do that. So yeah, just put it at a really nice angle like that. And then let's see how that looks. Okay, um, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm gonna tilt it a little more, actually, even more. And I'm gonna turn the depth up a little bit. Okay, um, just gonna pre render it one more time, see how it looks. Alright, uh, this is pretty good. So now we're just going to render this. Render settings, save, and put it to where you want to save it. I'm just going to do Griffin, render, and I'm going to put one because we're going to be doing another render. So close out of that and render it really quick. And once that's done, close out of that. And then click on Extrude Nerds and turn the depth down to zero. And then, as you can see, it is 2D now, and you'll see what we're going to do with this. Just render it as whatever you want. Griffin under 2. Then re render that. Okay, so now we have that. And now. Once you have those rendered, go back into Photoshop, then I'm just going to close out of these. Okay, so now you're going to open both of those renders in Photoshop. And then, okay, once you have them open, go over to the 2D one, and we're going to drag it onto the 3D one. Just put it right on top. Okay, that's good. 
So what we're going to do with the 2D one is we're going to make a layer style of it. And actually we're going to make the actual PSD first before we do that. So let's open a square looking document. Then here I'm going to make it black. Okay, so now just drag both your renders onto the document. Okay. So, yeah, this looks pretty good already. Now, what you're going to do is double click this layer 2, or whatever it says for you, the 2D one. Then we're going to add a layer style to it. So, I'm just going to do a, co a color overlay and do like a kind of a gray, grayish kind of color. And then go to inner glow, check that, and then put it to like, I'm going to put the opacity to like 75 about. And then put the size to about uh, 40 around. I'm actually going to turn the opacity up to 100. Yeah, that's good. Then add a little satin. This will give it like a shiny, an even more shiny effect. Just mess around with it. Distance to like 30, then size to like 30. Then turn the opacity to like uh, 20 about. And yeah, that looks good. Okay, so now we have a layer style on that. Now we're going to add a little layer style to the 3D layer. So we're going to go to satin, change the satin color to white, and then put the blend mode to overlay. And then we're going to make it look a little bit lighter. So put the distance to like 30, uh, size to like 20, opacity, actually no, size to like 30 then opacity to like 100 yeah that looks good okay so now let's add some inner glow and it gives it a really cool effect back there and then put the size to about 20 then opacity to about 20 okay that looks good okay so the logo looks fine now we're gonna add some text at the bottom for your name, whatever your name is. Let's just put Griffin. Uh, we're going to use Typograph. Actually, no, we're going to use Ubuntu. If you don't have Ubuntu, just go to my font pack and download it. It's on my channel. Okay. I'll just center it. Okay, now you have the name on it. And we're going to add a little layer style to this, too. So go to gradient overlay. Actually, I'm going to zoom in on this. Gradient overlay. Go to gradient, click that, then double click this gray layer. Put it to like a darker gray. Like that. That's good. Okay, that looks fine. Then go to inner glow. Check inner glow. Opacity 100. Put it to like uh 15, around 15. And yeah, that looks good. Let's add some satin too, like the last one. Put the angle to like 20. Then distance about 10. Size about 30. And there we go. Um, let's see what else we can do. I'll just add like a little stock to it in the back just to show you guys what your AVI can look like. That's good. Um, okay, so now I'm going to turn the opacity down the backing. <clears throat> so this looks pretty cool. Uh, oh, also for the text, go to edit, transform, warp. Then we're going to put it to arc. We're going to add some arc to it. Put the bend to like negative 5 I like to do. Then it just will bend it a little bit. Look, makes it look better in my opinion. Okay, so now you have your team PSD. It looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to add a little magical looks to it. So I'm just going to merge all these. And then do control A. 
then rectangular marquee, right click, layer via cut, delete the other layer, and there you go. Now go to filter, magic bullet looks. If you don't have magic bullet looks to add filters, then go look at my other video, and I will show you how to get it for free. And, okay, now that we have it open, I'm going to do it from scratch. Okay, go to subject, I'm going to add pop. Put it to 100, 300, just turn everything up. Makes it look really nice. And go to mot, going to add some diffusion, it's like a glow effect. Turn the grade to like 1 about. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, now let's see. Go to lens. Uh, some people don't like this, but I like it. Lens distortion. Put the distortion to like uh, 14 or 15. Just, just showing you guys what you can do with this. Distorts it. Uh, now go to haze and flare. Add it. I like to do like a blue color. Uh, put the spillage. Turn all these up to like 100%. Then turn the reflection exposure down to like negative 7. And then we're going to add a little crush. It's like haze and flare but different. Then put it, put the color to like a little blue but not like that blue. Just do a little, like mix with white. Then turn the exposure compensation up to like point five, yeah. Okay. So yeah, that looks really good. And then let's see what else we can do. I'm gonna add some curves to it. What I like to do with the curves is uh do this one, just drag it up and then with this one drag it down. And yeah, that looks really nice. Um if you want to add like a RGB effect, use chromatic aberration, then turn, just mess around with it. I like to turn the red slash sign up, and then uh, put that to like one. Then I like to do the blue and yellow to like negative one, and it has RGB on it now. So that's pretty much it for the magic bullet looks, and pretty much it for everything actually. Um, got it finished. So that's pretty much it. Now you have your 3D Team PSD. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to leave a like and comment. And also subscribe. I'm coming up on 1,000 subscribers, so I'll be sure to do something huge for 1,000 subs. And that's pretty much it. Also, let me know what you'd like to see next as a tutorial. And that's it. I'm out. Peace.